time for more infinite fusion. More Pokemon, yes, yes. Time to drop back in. Double, double dragon, initiate. Let's go. Ash, Ash Ketra, more, more like it. Is going to obtain all of the Pokemon of the land. Go full fast, Ketra. Obtain them all. I feel like every time I try and do that joke, it's like, it's kind of like a Gandalf, bit, I guess. Anyway, let's jump on back in. What's this gonna make? Ladybug and Dragonair. Yikes. I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know what the next thing is. Great adventure continues. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Already? We're already listening to a remix, kind of. It's a remaster. Okay, I guess. So many videos are just boss versus boss. But, uh. I don't know. Soul of Cinder. Just can't stop. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I fought this guy last time. Or like way, way, way before. Never mind then. <laughs> Let's do this. I don't know why I'm thinking of this right now. This will probably yield something good. Uh. Uh, maybe. No, let's start with this. The easiest. <laughs> Just every time the start of the song happens, you're like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Okay, we finished off everybody on this road, except the bikers and everybody passed them. What do I do? It doesn't seem close to hatching. Yet another egg. Uh, you want a nice egg for these trying times, that cat man. Don't mess with bikers, you boys. Stay out of trouble. To be fair, I'm an egghead man, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Egghead man. That damn egghead man. He's at it again. Egghead man. Saladose. This legit looks like an Ocarina of Time enemy. Watch out for it. Uh-oh, it's gonna start spinning. A fucking pea hat out in the wild. Alright, there it goes. Excalibur. So close, and yet so far to becoming a, a greater dragon. The base level 40s is so welcome. As much as 45 seems like a good hurdle, 50 is actually the goal. I think this is the stage where you kinda skip fives for a second. Pretty sure you just go to 50. I don't know. At this bracket, I think everything around your level is either scary or weak. So I think you go straight to 50, right? Well, competitive at least, yes, absolutely. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get in there, magic. I hear Suicune. But I see a very odd monstrosity. In fact, yes, this is another Zelda beast. Watch out, it's a tech type. Tech, tech type. Tech type. Ricardo, you're all right, kid. Ever thought about becoming a biker? No. No. A bicycler? No. A pickler? I'm gonna start pickling things. I think I just heal Excalibur up. This Pokemon's good. Now, I'm curious though, what are we working with in our team here? What are we really working with here? 89 attack. 79, 75, 111. 128. 92 defense, 79, 77, 74, 70, okay. Attack defense, Ox is the champ. Okay, but that makes sense. He's a physical attacker. 
And also, you just put slacking into anything and it becomes a really strong Pokemon. Just remove Truant and it's really strong. Pressure. Meteor is good. Meteor is more special at. Meteor is more special attack than anything, though. Every, okay, special attack, then I guess. I'm in the wrong spot, though, if I were to look at everybody like that. This track. See, the, the pickup of this track is like you're getting chased by P hats. They're helicoptering after you. But then you hear this part. It like goes back to peaceful, and you're like, no, 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 I'm surrounded by three of them. Three of the giant ones. 71, 85, 106, 91, 77. Okay, Suicune, special attack, or magic. Also has pressure. Special defense? Yeah, it's kind of, okay. Um, these two are specialists. Speed, 90 and 95. How do I have a Tyranitar with 95 speed? Okay. What else we got? Yeah, the game hates that. 85 speed on Ox, which ain't nothing to scoff at for what this Pokemon is. Okay. 72. 73. Well, that's too bad. I couldn't really EV train all this way, but also, uh... It makes you wonder, if the opponent gets it, then maybe uh, they actually get EVs too. I don't know, if they if they get the item, they might EV train, I'm not even sure. I just know they can get random stuff. I don't think this guy's really worth it yet, let's just go into the next battle. Yeah, it's, uh, what was it? 46 for Ryu? Or no, 50 for Garchomp. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Clear the way or I'll run you down. Boss battle. Fight the biker. Now he's Giraffalink. Giraffalink. What the? We made actual Giraffalink Pokemon for once. It's just the same as Stantler. We've optimized both of them. Wait, is this just a dual psychic type? Uh, you messed up with the double hit. I ouch, oof, owie. Oof, ouch, owie, Grattler's bugs. And antlers. Biker Jaren. Why is that name just so, it like brings a smile to my face. Jaren. I think I've ever known anyone by the name Jaren. Okay, I'm gonna use glare on this. It's a slow bro. It, it might as well be in paralysis mode. Run. Um, eat the slow bro. Consume. Slow vials. Very slow. It would be ridiculous if it had cure paralysis. Not confused. Eat. Consume. Mm. You for real, kid? I don't know, maybe. That was a good battle, actually. This guy had actually a good battle. This is Chrono Trigger, but it's Final Fantasy. It sounds like it's just straight out of Final Fantasy, though. Yeah. Maybe Nobu Nobu you know, Uematsu carries over. Wait, Nobu. <laughs> I can't fucking spell Uematsu. Final Fantasy. Did he ever- that, a lot of, lot of composers are shared among video games. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So... Who was the composer of Proto Trigger, though? Mark Zuckerberg, Yasunori Mitsuda. Okay. Ono, Zeno, Shadow Hearts, Inazuma 11. What? Zeno? Huh? Like Zeno Gears? Oh my god. Like Xenoblade? What? Yo, I've been missing out with this guy's music then. Uh. Huh? No way. No way. No freaking way. Oh no, it's Garatler. Oh no. Okay, Excalibur level up, very nice. 
It's confused. Oh, it's so horribly confused. <laughs> the fact that the Rocky Helmet did the kill damage there. Crunch. Mm, crunch and munch. Mm. Oh, oh, it's delicious. Mm. Mm, yes, consume the slow vial. Grow vial, slow bro, and the name combination fits so well. Gotta go slow. Gotta touch grass. You for real, kid? Yeah, that guy's pretty decent, but I wouldn't say he's the best trainer to go up against. Let's go against this guy right now. Right now. We confirmed Arceus is in the game, so I can't wait to see more Arceus fusions. Uh, by the way, what? No, this is just the final boss, okay? I was like, no, is Arceus in Final Fantasy? That's just... That's Sephiroth's god form, I guess. My bike's acting up, man. Yo, this fucking slaps? Sonic and Knuckles... Sonic 3 and Knuckles' final bla boss. Final blast. This thing's blasted off Stan, though. Glare it. It's paralyzed. Perfect, Excalibur. Now you've told him 357,000 different pieces of dialogue. Okay, my Pokemon is almost gone. That, that was just some insane psychic damage. I guess Steel-type can probably resist this pretty hard. A level 31 ain't nothing to scoff at, but at least it's paralyzed. Alright. It hit itself. With what? Sticky barb. Barb. Come track this out, Barb. I can always slack off, I guess, but either Faint Attack or Iron Head. Stantler Ho-Oh. Fire's not gonna do anything against Ho-Oh. Faint Attack. Oh, yeah. It calms its mind and readies up for an extra sensory. And then takes Sticky Barb damage. Barb, come in here and look at this, Stano. It just took, it took Sticky Damage, Barb. Aw oh, man, I'm not into this. Neither am I, you just almost destroyed my Pokemon. He wants to become a motorcyclist elsewhere, I guess. Sorry, Barb. Your heart was in it, Bob. You gotta go become a motorcyclist somewhere else. This guy doesn't want to recruit you. What? <laughs> Barbara is trying to become part of the mogul, motorcycle gang. Mogul. She's a mogul. She's a motorcycle gang yokel, I guess. Uh, she's... Uh, wait. How would that work? <laughs> I'm in a, like, you know, three-word term, but I can't figure out what it would actually be if we, like, equated it. What's going on in here? Huh? You... Uh, huh? How do I get this item over here? Oh. Nah. TM-102 Spore. That's like paralysis, isn't it? Speaking of paralyzed, induces sleep. Hmm, that could be even better. Potentially, nobody can learn it. Nobody here can learn it. All right. I suppose it's time to make a move on to Celadon. Yeah. How's everybody doing? I think uh, at some point we'll find a better trainer than this guy. Maybe give him another shot, but I don't see it happening. It just, uh, this uh, last guy doesn't seem that good. Let's go three Rocky Helmets. So, let's go. I guess this guy, yes? Alright, let's roll the dice. Yeah? What is that? Galvantula Crobat? Galvanbat. Okay. Sure. Sure. How about this one? <laughs> it's a gargoyle. It's an electric gargoyle. Take it out, Excalibur. This is precisely why I trained up this weapon. This Pokemon is a fantastic weapon against this. Cool as Excalibur. I pat my Excalibur on the head. Cool as Excalibur. He ascends. Watch him ascend. Landlurk. 
my god. The massive creatures. You must destroy them, Excalibur. Save the whole scene. <laughs> the Rocky Helmet always coming in clutch right at the last second. Tether Sola, okay. Just, yeah, bye. Zen Headbutt, okay. <laughs> it has one HP left, what am I gonna do? Gambler Stan. Drat came up short. Hey, you want to play a game? Yes, yes. Cost you 2,000 to play, what do you say? That's nothing for the 50 grand stack of Pokemon winnings. Yeah? Okay, let's see. Ace of Diamonds, let's go, hit me. Four of Clubs, hit me. Nine of Diamonds. King of Diamonds. <laughs> oh my goodness, you know what that means. You know what that means. I win. I win. <laughs> Gabler Jasper Bus, you win. Woohoo, you won. I got a Dawn Stone. I have so many of them already. Man, you didn't do me any favors giving me a Dawn Stone, but okay. Uh, Final Fantasy seems kind of like a dead end route. Maybe like this? Maybe I check something else out. Oh yeah, this is like the classic tune. Tune. Uh, maybe this? I was already checking this out before, but in a different fashion. Alright, I have to go underground. We're away. That's right, you can battle the Team Rocket members if you keep just going forward over and over again. You don't have to pay the hundred grand. Or maybe it's like once you beat a certain objective, you can refuse, and then you can still go forward, but you have to battle. Blockberry. I remember those. They're good for, like, the Pokemon Poffins. It's too bad. There's probably no Poffin-making machine. Not that that was really worth it at all. Anymore. Which one was it? Uh... It, there's a Poffin machine that, like, increased your stats if you made Poffin blocks. I think maybe like the early games, Poffins did it, and the, like you could sort of up your stats with them. And I think later game they changed it. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. A new route. A new route. A new Pokemon. Of course. Of course. How could I? I I've never considered it before. Now. Okay. Let's check this out. My Pokemon has been feeling a bit ill. But I think it can handle a fight. Mega Man X Spark Mandrill stage in Mega Man X3 sound font? How is that better? Is, it, is like the X3 better game? We didn't get Spark Mandrill in X3, unfortunately. Gigatrass. It's glaring at me. Giratrass. It's glaring at me. Is, is that Giratina? Is that Giratina? I don't think I even tried to paralyze it then. I don't know. Glare? Okay, just paralyze it anyway. Excalibur goes out there and uses its super move. Uh, okay, it uses payback immediately. I think I know what to do there. Yeah, you're, good. you're just gonna keep hitting me and using a move that, like, you expect me to do recoil damage against. Like, you... You wanna parry me, huh? You wanna use a parrying move against me, hmm? I will just sit here and heal. I can just heal. He keeps throwing spikes. What? How many times are you gonna spam spike? How many how many uses do spikes have? <laughs> this is oh this is like a 20 use move, right? Because there's no reason for you to spam it. Yeah, it has 20 move. <laughs> 20 uses maximum of 30. I think Iron Head probably does the least, and if he tries to counter me, I'll just heal. Payback! Wow, that did absolutely nothing, my man. Bye-bye. A hammer arm, and all of its HP is just gone. That's probably what I could have done from the start. I think my poor, my poor Gluion needs some rest. I think we just put Ox in first for a second and see what happens here, because, uh, what? 
Dude, a Spark Mandrill grind will begin. We need to get Mega Man up to level 50, I think. Mega Man is Spark Mandrilling. Gear address. Level th wait, did it jump two levels? Amazing. I don't think the paralysis is doing any favors to either of us. I just hammer arm and it's gone. Oh my god, Ox is just laying on the floor and he like lifts up his big cartoon hand and just slaps the enemy away. Looks worse than ever now. Sorry, did you think a battle would heal your ill Pokemon? I don't think so. Uh, he's only suffered 10 damage. Maybe another battle up, get it right. You're right, get up, Glueon. We'll fight the disease away. Do you, you not understand how this works? <laughs> you, you just keep working up a sweat in that, like, deathly flu. Work out, like, the worst sweat of your whole life. The hammer, I'm still one shot. It's super effective as well. <laughs> the fact that I only get... I, I mean, it's great XP, but I only get 1,200. I'm really con confused. It's Giraffric. <laughs> it's not Giratina, the legendary Pokemon. It's Giraffric, the psychic deer Pokemon. It still doesn't know, like, what the headlights are. It may be psychic, but it doesn't understand what the headlights mean. It's dirty. Well, thankfully it pulled out the double hit. I didn't know this could get sturdy. Well, now I know. My god. Embargo. What does this move even do? Prevents a held item. That makes perfect sense given the name. See, I just remember when I was a kid, seeing Embargo, the dark type move, I'm like, that must be powerful. And then I learned the term as an adult, and I'm like, oh, that... what? Why did Pokemon name a move that? <laughs> Looks worse than... I guess. I mean, like, if you... I'm not talking about the ladies in Pokemon. If you want to just name moves complex things, sure. It, it fits the name, I guess. But it's like, why did you pick this? Embargo. Vital of us could use this item until the battle is over. That just sounds way too literal. Neither of us can escape this embargo. We've signed legal terms. The embargo. <laughs> Just the fact that it's a dark type move and it's called embargo. We've implemented the dark law of embargo, you see. You can't play Call of Duty Minecraft 2 until uh, we say so. I mean, that's pretty. That's very baseline, but good example, I guess. Yeah, you want to play Call of Duty Minecraft, too. You better wait until the embargo is lifted if you got a copy early. Otherwise, they're gonna... <laughs> Hold on, you didn't sign the NDA? You didn't sign the NDA before you started playing Call of Fortnite Duty Minecraft 2 Fruity. <laughs> it had to run. The hammer arm is so powerful. It's dirty and then it double hits, or like, it eats. Okay. It throws spikes. I don't think anything's gonna happen if you... Can you heal up and be sturdy again? I don't even know if that's possible. I think the crit overrides there, even if I didn't do enough damage. Looks worse than ever. It's fine, your Pokemon's leveling up, actually. Dazzling Gleam. I hope one day one of these can learn this, but it... My standing Lapras. Nope. My flying Tyranitar. Nope. Or alternatively, my armored... Uh, what the fuck's your name again? Aerodactyl. My also armored, uh, like, weird water face. Garchomp. <sighs> snake Dragon Dragon Snake. What? Okay, this is just like a lazy but sharp metal guy, and also just like a really powerful sharp metal guy that's also got like some weird pudgy legs or something. Pudgy arms. What is this? Okay, the concept of Suicune is already weird. It's a revived ice dog from a fire tower. 
a tower that was lit on fire and then the like magic ice dog died and then was resurrected. And it runs really fast. It's also the level that you catch it at, oddly enough. Galvantula, I don't really know the lore, but it's kinda it's just equally weird. It's like a fucking electric spider, but it's a very large one. So now I've just made a very fast ghost spider from the fire tower. It is like a water electric ghost spider. She looks at the camera. I think Ox is prepared, but uh, he needs to heal up. It's unfortunate. But the fresh waters are coming in clutch, too. 50 points. I'm actually not wasting them. I thought I would be there. It sounds like Toho music. Oh, it is. It is. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> Just, that was so fast. I looked at the title. I'm like, oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Now use your Pokemon as a model for my painting. Okay. Frederick. With Ampharos. It's Amphi. Wait, what? Ampharos? That's Tauros Ampharos. That's cool as heck. That's fucking heckin' cool. That was a one shot, oddly enough. But it did paralyze. Amphi. Frederick was something else. Sanfion. <gasps> Leafion Sandile. Do I just, like, iron head this? I can't <laughs> use his embargo. <laughs> you can't use your item anymore, champ. Well, my good old iron head will be useful. And those Giga Drain. I don't think this is going to be helpful, though. The grand scheme of things, Giga Drain. Eh. It didn't heal anything against a Steel type, and the normal type, it seems just normal. Pokemon would make a fantastic pain. Well, thanks for paralyzing them, so I have to go back. I have to go to town that I've never been to now, thanks. Thank you, I'm going and visiting new places, thanks to you. That's just so funny to me that I'm like, this sounds like Toho music. I identified it before I even noticed with, like, reading. First it was like noticing the audio, the frequency. Let to paint a grass and fairy type Pokemon. For gold see. No no no. Grass and fairy. I don't I see okay. I seem to remember discovering this a little too late and I was like, can you trade other trainers? Oh no, I've missed so many trades. Yup. Yup, yup, I'm back with another milk. Let's heat things up a bit. Toho Sanfan almost reminds me of Undertale, oddly enough. Dust Zone. That's scary looking. It is part Steel type though. It, al it also is susceptible to faint attack, which will do massive damage. In one shot! Ox has just such overpowered move spread. My fire is quenched. Uh, quench that fire. Uh. Route 7. Okay, what are we going to get in Route 7? Daytime. Another... <laughs> it's Biking is the name. Another Biking. Help, help, I'm back with another Biking. I'm addicted to it. Help, help me. Help. <laughs> One of these days, I feel like Milkshake Guy is going to make a return video. No, we need to know, actually. I need to find out right now. Because I was thinking about this. And I didn't say it the other day because I was like, ah, we got something else to talk about. Milkshake guy. Man goes viral for fun Milkshake Monday series? What the f- what are you talking about? Milkshake Monday is my favorite day of the week. What? No, that that's a wrong milkshake guy. Guys? <laughs> Somebody has made this into, like, if you're, uh, I can't figure out the meme. We've already done it three months ago. We've already titled it like this. Guy with milkshake in parking lot screaming for help. That's amazing. That's, uh, that's amazing. That that's the full title. And yet there's like another video that's equally as powerful in views. That's just the actual video. What the fuck? I want to know who this guy is. <laughs> what? It late. Okay. The original video was posted by TikToker 
three Faden. So three P Hayden. H A Y D E N. In March 2023, it later went viral across platforms like iFunny and YouTube. Often paired with captions about skinwalkers or aliens. <laughs> what if he was looking at a skinwalker chasing after him while he's drinking that milkshake? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's precisely exactly why he was screaming about the milkshake. Okay, we, we've uh, figured out who this guy is. That's amazing. We know who he is. Now, one day, we will see more of his content. One day. <laughs> Wait, he has another video like this. He started uploading videos of himself walking around in public, then screaming for help after starting the video off normally. What? So this, this is just like the first time. He, the milkshake video ain't the first time. He, okay, this is like a story. And the, the help guy, help me, I, I'm back with another one. I'm addicted to it, help me help. This guy has infiltrated. Oh, I can't get enough. <laughs> back with another milk. Help! Help! Help me! Help! That's incredible. So the, the milkshake was just him exploding it because he's been various places this whole time. Like, you know, just screaming help. Who knows? Maybe he's gotten many milkshakes. But the ultimate point at the end of the day, the fact of the matter is he infiltrated Chick-fil-A to do the bit. And I think that's part of why he exploded, but I'm not question marking that. What I'm question marking is Holy fuck, he's been doing this for like a while. And in fact, literal years. Parentheses, the S is in parentheses there. Literal year, parentheses S. On parentheses. <laughs> Left parenthetical, S. Right parenthetical. Okay, I think we're gonna have to come back at night time to get anything here. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to leave. Um... <laughs> That's fucking crazy. No way. When he's on his fifth, that's crazy, and the story keeps going. So, what? Okay, I gotta know that. Back with another milk. Uh, <laughs> it's me when I'm drinking a milkshake and have my mind cursed with the knowledge of a god. I guess that's like the first viral version. When the human whose body I possess briefly regains control, parentheses, I'm an alien. <laughs> you and I'm a skinwalker and I accidentally hit the lure emote. What uh, the fuck that means, lure emote? Like, come over here, help. Help me, help. So is this the same guy? The first motherfucker to finish the World at War campaign. Yeah? Is he holding like a grenade at the end of the cave? I don't even- I need to go to like the end. I, can, I love that I'm just in Solid Island, but I'm like, I don't need to be here right now. I get the fuck out of here. Solid on City can wait. I found a soda pop near the trash can. I put it in my medicine pocket in my backpack. Right next to all my medicine, I put that flat cola next to the garbage can. In my backpack. 200 bucks, yeah. Can I just gamble? Smile. Sleep for 12 hours. Let's see what happens whenever I return at night. This guy. I don't want to go on TikTok, but the fact that this guy keeps doing shit like this. So wait. This is, this is the other version. How does this work? I have never been on TikTok before. Like, maybe three times. But never on the app. What is this? Okay, this is Bando Blaze. I don't know if this is like... This is what the milkshake guy based it off of, or this is the milkshake guy, but it doesn't look like him. Had to let y'all know about goddamn... Help! <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I see. Yeah. Help me! <laughs> okay, I understand now. Yeah, so through meme osmosis, the original milkshake was spawned off of that. He's like, y'all, I gotta let you know about help me. And then he does another example. Yeah. But like the true, the true meme was instantiated. Whenever we infiltrated Chick-fil-A and drank a milkshake from their milkshake machine. Therefore, screaming for help, help, I need help with the milkshake in hand while equipping the equipment from the workplace. <laughs> workplace equipment. Yes. Yes. Employee drone soldier. I command you, you must <laughs> grab arms. T tosses you like a broom. At arms, soldier. <laughs> Stand about face near the entrance of McDonald's. Slow dial. This is actually probably one of the few versions of Slowpoke slash Slowbro whatever I've ever seen. Slow King, whatever you want to call all of them. That actually looks cute. It doesn't look stupid, it just looks plain cute. To be fair though, it's a little alligator, so it's probably still gonna try and bite me. Slow dial, gotta take it slow. Haha, -ha, gotta go slow. Alligator, you later. Is Excalibur gonna level up from catching this Pokemon? Oh, he's confused. I think I've just throw Pokeballs. I don't believe Sand Dial is that hard to catch. And slow bro, uh, slow poke is super easy. Uh huh. No, slow poke catch rate impossible, actually. He demands I give him the moon ball, but I actually kind of want to train slow dial up. What do we combine slow poke into? Okay. Yu Gi Oh, huh? Yu Gi Oh card random generator, huh? That's not enough XP to level up. I was being very optimistic about that one, but okay. We start with a negative energy and shadow balance. Oh my god. He's bringing a lot of negative energy to the table. We need to equalize it out. Alright, slow dial. I'm harmonizing everything to neutral, man. Water dark Pokemon. Desert dope yeet Pokemon. It catches prey by dipping its tail in water at the side of the river. A dark membrane shields its eyes from the sun. I don't think so. That's a lie. The Pokedex is lying there. I don't think Shadow is fitting. Cyber Raider. Five Star Twilight. That's a Karibo card? I guess. The other thing I get is Junk Dealer Black Hole Shield. Or Junk Box. And Sage's Stone Gilosaurus. I've already gotten most of these, so. Twilight? Dragon Capture Jar Power Balance. Once again, I've had power and balance is like a thing. You freed the Sword Master of Sword of Soul. I don't think Slow Dial is my soul. Cyber Commander Hitotsumi Giant. One more. Kuryushin and Nekomane King. Or Nekomane King. What is that card? Okay. Anyway, Twilight, I guess, is the name of this silly thing. It'll become a vampire in Sparkle one day. Alright, well, there's my Pokemon for this route. Very cool. I don't know if I necessarily want to re-battle these trainers immediately. I kind of want to... Take on Team Rocket if I can. And then start unlocking all of the exterior route. It's probably not Kai. It's Kai Ryushin, right? But the anime in Four Kids dub or whatever Cartoon Network had, maybe they changed it at one point. I seem to remember season one. It was they said Kuryushin, Kuryushin, or whatever, or Kariushin. I don't know. I feel like they mispronounced the hell out of it. All right, let's see. I'd like to at least get one Pokemon close to level 45. Maybe not immediately, but let's see this again. Wait, yeah, you don't want to battle again, that's right. I don't have anything for your gold, so you sorry. Maybe one day I'll return and trade. Let's see, you? 
Headed to Saffron. Got time for a rematch? Yes, let's do this. Yes! Show me your Pokemon! This should be a good battle, right? Level 32, it'll keep increasing in power, and it becomes Dusk Noir, is the evolution, so maybe it'll evolve. Faith Attack does the crazy damage here. I wish I had the EV training item, but honestly, that kind of lowers your speed so much, it might have killed me at this point, so... Who knows if I would have gotten this far if I had that. The death that I deserve, Eoli. Lap 2. Mega Man Remix. <laughs> the death that I deserve, Eoli. Silly name for a song. My fire's quenched. Let's go again. Anything with Dark Ride and Magnezone seems like it'd be pretty powerful. Well, I guess that's just what it is, but either one, right? Dark Rye, uh, Dust Collapse. I equate them because they're pretty much the same tier, but also it's just like a silly ghost Pokemon. Yo, this crazy though. Is that like a Mega Man with power ups, but he's Pepino? That's amazing. Y'all ready to get funky? Quench the fire once again, Ash Ketchup. Put some mustard on the fire. It's got giant hands. As if, like, Hunter and Dusclops didn't have giant hands already. It's got giant hands. What better way to just enhance Magnezone but by making it have giant hands? Instead of giant magnets on its sides, claws. Meaty, big meaty claws. Level 33, but it still falls to the same move again. Wait, did it gain pressure just recently? I don't seem to... Okay. Hmm. This is definitely worth the battle. In fact... In fact... Something, he floats in the air. Yeah. Let's go again. Let's go hyper speed. May as well. Dusk Zone. There it is. Dusk Noir Magna Zone. Looks much better. I love right when I speed up, it evolves. Level 34. It only occasionally has pressure, so it only kind of vaguely matters. I don't always remember that, that it'll like switch out abilities even if it's the same Pokemon. Sometimes it'll stick to the same thing pretty frequently, though. Like, even for, uh, Shedinja, it's the same thing. Shedinja sometimes just wo straight up won't have Wonder Guard at all. And it's like, huh? Did I just one-shot that anyway? <laughs> I was just testing if that move would work, but alright, it's gone. Level 35. I level up, it levels up. Let's get that Pokemon knocked down. I am utilizing a lot of faint attack. So probably at one move power left, I go. Yeah? Oh, okay. Never mind. I just saw that the number was like slightly orange red or whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm running out of move power. Level 36. It's leveling up a little fast, but I also will get a level from that, so. <laughs> Let's see how far this Pokemon will take my Pokemon. I see this thing capping out at level 40, but I honestly don't know. Okay, it did damage back to me. That's the perfect time to turn around. I'm going hyper speed against this Pokemon. Mega Bad X dot com. Wait, what? It was, it was that fast. I just duh. I'm in hyper mode. Mid super mode. It's got kind of like that '80s montage vibe to the track. Just like very slight power metal kind of thing. Power tool metal, if you will. <laughs> yeah. What do you think it makes you think of Tim the Tool Man Taylor? Power tool metal. I'm gonna look that up. There's no way that this exists, but maybe somewhere someone out there that has made like 
silly versions of music. No, I look up metal and it probably doesn't think I'm talking about metal music. I don't want this. You accidentally overwrite uh, your like healing move with iron defense, thus wasting two thousand dollars. Congratulations. Faint attack. This thing. It, it, okay, my Pokemon does a massive amount of damage, but I received so much XP here. Yo. Almost 2k per battle. This is kind of nuts. I feel like it's rare to get a good, repeatable battle that also is just ultra fast and ultra good XP. So this seems like a rarity even compared to like the SSN guy that I fought the first time. First time I was doing rematch battles, at least. Like, over and over again. Let's go help. I'm back with another milkshake. Milkshake. <laughs> Undertale, Asgore's theme. Bergentrukum. I don't actually know how the umlaut sounds there. Truk, I'm assuming. Fling. Yeah, it's variable damage, I don't care. Asgore's theme's good. By the time you get to him, you should be, like, exhausted from battle, or just, like, satisfied with the story pretty well, but, like, question-marking hard. So then you get a good battle and good music. Humor. You wish to play Undertale, you gotta fight me, no matter what. I hack the game! I hack into the game and then refuse! I mean, I guess. Probably like walk through walls behind him or something, right? Guess we call it a fountain now instead of the barrier, right? Or maybe it's totally different. I don't know. Anyway, I won't, I won't spoil it too hard. The game's still like kind of new. Not really, but. Mega Man kind of makes this uh, Mario ish. Almost sounds like Mario Paint. Okay, that's crazy. How much XP I get from this Pokemon. 77 to next level. I have one faint attack left. Let's go. This is the freest level 50 I've ever gotten. I mean... I guess there are other ways to do it, but I'm saying like contextually. Within this run, this has been a free level 50. Now at that point, I really just have to get like, I don't know, 15 levels to really surpass myself. Get to 65, at that point you go to 70. And then you're gaming, you go straight to 75. The last bit of XP is just like another million. Another like 500k, that's not much. There you go, you're level 100, baby. Well, bam You're max level. The faint attack does tremendous damage. The amount of XP I'm getting is actually lowered now. Not like the number, but just look at the bar go up. Actually, it is lowered numerically. Just because it depends on which Pokemon I randomize into. I don't think this goes any higher than level 36. I've quenched off Aya completely. Well, that's comforting to know that I've gotten to level 50 this fast. This means I can focus on another Pokemon to get to level 50. Holy hell, I on Passan at level 50. Oh, there's level 49. Night Slash? That does 70 damage! User slashes the target an instant an opportunity arises. Critical hits land more easily. So, Faint Attack can miss. Or, Faint Attack can never miss. Uh, but this does 10 more damage and crits. Night Slash, I seem to remember, is just an amazing move, right? So, let's check it out, I guess. Oh! Did it just crit there? Night Slash is so fast in this mode. Just turns the foe gray, and then they go into the trash bin. Oh my god. This is the teleports behind you move, but it's like... Stops time. And then just your foe's gone. Stops time, deletes the enemy. Resumes time. So literally a JoJo stand ability. Yeah, I have slightly less move power, just five less. 
but I crit more, and I think doesn't this Night Slash go first? Pokemon with two E's. Night Slash. Base power 140. Wait, oh, okay. If it's a Z move, I'm like, what? Level 50. I think I'm good on hyper speed now. <laughs> Super fast. Uh, that's the freest level 50 right there. Biking. He's taking a bicycle ride. Very serious, very finicky. Protected from flinching, that's awesome. 160 attack at level 50, so that means, I mean, just, you know, if we double it, it's 320. I don't know if it'll go that high up, though. Unless I, well, maybe it could go even higher if I EV train. The only thing this Pokemon is truly lacking is special defense. Everything being higher than a level 100... Anything being higher than 100 in a stat is pretty good to me at level 50. Especially if I'm not, like, EV optimized. This Pokemon doesn't run on EV compatible batteries. I don't think it's optimized. I'm really wondering who's next aside from Meteor. Excalibur does need level 50. But I'm really wondering too, is this Pokemon like actually that amazing? Because it really is Dust Noir plus Magnezone, so it's strong. But I'm wondering, uh, is it going to take something out or is it like tremendously weak? So what would I have that's also good against that? I have Dark Pulse. So that'll just automatically destroy it if I can connect. I have Bite on Magic. Yeah, and Crunch on Excalibur. I just need to spam Dark type moves, I think. I need to get Excalibur to level 50, so yeah, I'll probably try and do that. Dark Pulse and then Crunch. Can I do this though is the question. I am safe, I, I'm able to switch out. But at level 40, it's like so risky that they might die immediately. So we'll have to just wait and see. Mega Man the Sequel Wars OST. Dr. Cossack stage. I feel like an independent content creator that did something instead of sequelitis, it looks like. Mega Man the Sequel Wars. You airmen. I mean, it's only four levels behind, but it's also only, you know, it's like two ways. It's both powerful and weak. It's close, it's only that far away, and it's also only a few levels away. So, Flash Cannon. That hurts. It did a crit. I don't know if Flash Cannon crits often, but this will also just destroy it. So that's good. At least now I know I can heal up. Come back to this battle, maybe risk it for the biscuit again. 2158 XP! We quenched her fire. Who knows, maybe this will level up to level 37, but somehow I doubt it. Because we got the final tier evolution, it's probably like the last level we'll get there. I feel like it waits until the last moment there. Dusk Zone. Welcome to the Dusk Zone. Meteor. Use the power attack. Dark Pulse. Okay, yeah, at two shots... It heals up, yikes. It's able to cast Curse. Oh man, that's so bad you don't realize what you just did. I'm just gonna like fucking Dark Pulse again. I believe any other move might be a mistake. Just accuracy or power output, whatever. 2158 again. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to manually heal this Pokemon, but this is turning out great. This trainer is fucking excellent for grinding. This will actually prepare me for Team Rocket on the east side. If I get three level 50s immediately and then just kind of figure out what else, what other trainer to train against with the other ones. Switch out training is viable here. I just feel like it's kind of a waste. Maybe. Maybe I save it for like the ones that do damage but tank against this. Final Fantasy XIV Escape. Mega Man Star Force sound font cover. This looks cool as fuck. It confused me, but I also just Dark Pulse. <laughs> I think the confusion's gonna help. It wasted a move. 
It wasted a whole move when it could have done anything. It could have at least attacked his takedown. Uh, I prefer Chip Away. For just a plain normal move, I feel like Chip Away does more damage too. The payback, payback's useless. This looks fucking awesome. Isn't Mega Man Star Force kind of different though? It's not like a Battle Network game, is it? Meteor's full HP after that. I wasn't even looking at his HP. I'd like to play Final Fantasy XIV, but I'd probably just sit there as a sprout for a really long time. One, for the meme, but also two, because I'd probably just check out a lot of the early game content for a good long while. That's exactly what I wanted to do with World of Warcraft before they released Classic. And holy moly. Uh, like, OG WoW Classic before it was WoW Classic sucked eggs. It sucked utter ass. It was so bad. It was so painful. The meme of, like, collect 50 bear asses, or like 50 boar asses, I think it's, is the joke. Yeah, pretty accurate, because it's like, I just remember looking around like, where do I go? What do I do? I don't understand. I think we just dare throw... Scalibur out? See if we can tank? If not, we just distribute XP. He uses Flash Cannon again. It does some decent enough damage, but if I crunch, this thing's pulverized, yes? Yeah! And Excalibur, Excalibur gets level 42. Scary face. No, I'm good. That lowers speed. What's the one that locks your opponent in the arena? It's like... Scary eyes, or something. <laughs> Freaky eyes. Yeah, I think Excalibur is on the back burner because it can actually handle that Pokemon. I and mean, the confusion stack doesn't help. But, uh, you know, it, it, you know what? It, pro it probably could go either way. I feel like Meteor is naturally slower, though. So I'm not even sure. It, it probably could just go either way. I unleash an ultimate move Electro Ball. Remember, Electro Ball is Math Ball. Oh, he's gone. Once again, the Dusk Zone is eliminated. I'm sorry. Lass. I feel like that term is either, like, used endearingly in this day and age, or it's just so ancient. Like, there's, there's very little in between there. Either say lass, or you're like, Good day, lass. Oh my god, that guy's 96 and he needs a cup of water. Give him, give him a glass of ice water right now. Either that or, uh... Like, uh, watch out, lass. Uh, like, there's a car coming and you're not paying attention. This crosswalk is actually on red. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, I know you got AirPods in. I feel like even that, though, is still like you're an old man. Get this old man a glass of ice water. Out last a crosswalk. It's uh, traffic tied up. Traffic's tied up. I crunch again. It was a risky crunch, but also Excalibur's got to take the risk because I didn't realize I was that low. It, it, to be fair, whenever you have like a, a move that has a lot of move usage, like 40 PP, whenever you get to the orange moves instead of like yellow or whatever it does when you're half. It legit starts to look kind of red when you get to the low move power. So when you are actually down to one, and you're not looking at like the amount you have, just the move, it looks like you just have three left or something. I think I will throw him out there and see what happens. If I can switch him in and he carries, then maybe I just like let him be the back burner at a higher level. There might need to be, like, you know, desperation switching time at some time. Plus, this thing needs to be level 50. Excalibur will become the greatest dragon sword Pokemon. Its defense goes down with this move, which is just so silly and awesome. Not that it matters, because I two-shot it anyway with the damage stack. Yeah. I think I'll get to level 43 and I'll just leave it at that. 
Maybe just switch out whenever I see fit. Or maybe we'll just play catch up here. I don't know. But I prefer to just test the water here, see if I can't train both of them. I don't see anything wrong with it. Flash cannon sounds like we're picking up an item in Metal Gear Solid. But we've com like bit compressed the sound effect, so Konami doesn't realize that Daddy Nintendo stole the sound effect. Kojima's gonna find out, and he's gonna tell Konami. Just use one fresh water, that's 40 HP points. Revive, restore, I mean, don't, don't say revive in the Nuzlocke, they're gonna know. No! No, I promise, I didn't revive a Pokemon. Okay, Dust Zone looks like it's got buck teeth, but it's on the sides of its mouth. Goodbye. I crunch you into oblivion. Stop right there, Purple Scott. The High Elves has told me that you can't eat those magnet ghosts. Well, I do. I eat the ghost. Alright, that's almost halfway to 44, so... Switch Meteor back in. It's some good training. Didn't expect this lady asking me about Saffron City to be so powerful. Saffron City lady's kind of overpowered. The Dusk Zone. Enter the Dusk Zone. Okay, utterly pulverize it with the Dark Pulse. This Mega Man character looks like a Sonic the Hedgehog character. <laughs> it used Curse and then just got rid of the remaining HP it had. Excellent. I'd love to see that move combo again. Dark Pulse definitely carries on the damage output there, but let's see if, uh... I can't just make Meteor carry for itself. Once it gets to, like, level 45, it'll probably one-shot Dusk Zone anyway. But I love the Dark Pulse. So we gotta attempt. Jeez. The confusion is not good. Dark Pulse. It hits itself. Uses Flash Cannon to stack. And that's precisely why I have a Switch Out Pokemon. And then when that Pokemon gets confused, I have another Switch Out Pokemon. Electro Ball is Math Ball. Alright, crunch it up. Crunch it ties me, Captain. Yep. <laughs> 2k experience. This is good grinding. This is so much better than sitting in the sewer level, running back and forth for 50 years. Trying to figure out where I'm gonna get more XP. How? There's no other town that's gonna give me insane XP like this. It's impossible. In fact, I just realized. I don't think it's even a quest. I think I just need to go back. Is it like after you beat Misty or what? Bill has the virtual realm for me to go to and explore, and I have another Pokemon there to get for free. Just remember I was grinding over there in one run. For like the whole session I was in the virtual realm fighting Porygon, which was not Porygon. Okay, Meteor can definitely carry, it just depends on what move my foe uses. The confusion... Plus, the cannon, though, won't really do anything after a while. It flinches with the Dark Pulse as well. All these Dark moves inflicting flinch are like a lowering defense. Very good combos. Stuff like that's great. Basically the same thing as Power Up Punch. I mean, that's just immensely powerful. But that, you know, every attack, whoa, bam, your attack power goes up. I don't know what generation that's from, though. It eats a berry to, like, buff its defense against me. And then it casts a curse, lowering its HP anyway. Alright, man. Goodbye. It's afflicted by the curse. And then I take, like, four more damage. Good thing curse doesn't persist after the foe is defeated. I don't really understand how it even works. Like, they just take away all of their HP because they're a ghost? Part of their, uh, grudge, I guess, that they inflict upon you is destroying half their HP to curse you. It is the nasty thing about curses that it, like, doubles in damage power every turn, or is it just that you get, like, a thing that's kind of, like, toxic? 
but it also stacks with other effects. Is that all it is? Cursed doing exponential damage would be insane. I would love to see that. Because that's actually very formidable. That's the same thing as whatever that other move was that, like, you know, you just have to stack power and then you do 931 times damage. Mega Man for the Genesis. One day, Sega will put Mega Man on the Genesis. Yeah. Is that the Genesis Remix? That doesn't seem right. Mega Man must have been on the Genesis. It was Nintendo just that stingy with their IP. You can't have this property. Mega Man's taken. We are the rights holder to Mega Man. We own it, actually. We are Mega Man. At large. Yeah, I think Meteor and Excalibur are tied for a reason, because Meteor can kind of handle itself now. As long as it does flinch, that does exceedingly well. But I don't even need that. Just a two-hitter quitter. Unless this thing eats a berry that reduces dark type damage, which just seems completely random. Like, actually in randomizer logic. 1981 XP, and I one-shot critical attack. Critical hit attack. What's up, guys? Back with Pokemon Infinite. <laughs> critical, critical, critical. What's up, guys? Check out my Meteor Dragon. He's using Dark Pulse. Sometimes I can do critical, and other times the voice just doesn't match up at all. Oddly enough, Castlevania Symphony of the Night was released on the Sega Genesis, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Or Sega Saturn? Either way, there is like a hidden stage in that game. Castlevania... You know, that's fucking crazy too, it had its own music. Symphony of the Night was great. Akumaho Dracula X Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Sega Saturn. 250 bucks. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can do the speed run in 30 minutes without glitches. What's that? Really? Like the first set of bosses? Uh, okay, we're just talking about Symphony of the Night in general. I don't know about the Saturn version. My fire's quenched. If this thing uses confusion, it'll be really bad. So I feel like I could risk my Pokemon and it would be good. Or like, you know, it'd take damage and it'd be fine. But there's a risk of critical damage whenever you get stacked. So uh, take the confusion damage there ain't that bad. But... Dracula X on Sega Saturn. I want to hear some of this real quick. Plus Saturn songs. No. Uh, underground secret god and area. I don't think people just have isolated only that music, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem like the Sega Saturn tracks are really isolated. Maybe later. Sega Saturn, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Let's go check this out. I keep looking at this. Oh, okay, I see. We, we already clicked this earlier. Remember? Mega Man X4 awesome voice acting. We have like anime cutscenes in this game? <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised. By, by that point in time, Mega Man was such a big franchise. We could have like live action Steve Irwin Mega Man if we want. Oi, crikey! There's another robot! <laughs> I'm gonna get my Mega Boss out! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Steve Irwin in Mega Man. What the fuck? Steve, man. 
feel like all of those animals and like wild, all that wildlife that he interacted with, he would have gotten some crazy Mega Man powers. Steve Irwin would have had the ability to like throw a snake at Dr. Wily. Just a whole snake. A whole venomous snake. I don't know if that affect Dr. Wily. He probably has like anti-snake armor. Or like a, a robot battle suit that prevents snakes from even getting close. It just automatically swats them away. Whoops! Smacks them out of the air. Who knows? It's got like kung fu grip reflexes. Who knows? Alright, bud. Dark Pulse again, bud. Meteor level 45 incoming. The flash cannon hurts so hard. It's super effective. I think it's just because I'm part flying type. It uses the electric move because I'm fire type. I'm flying type. I'm fire type. Because I'm fire type. It used the water type move on me because I'm fire type. My tongue. In fact, just like all of my speech mechanisms. All of the mechanisms for speech. Absolutely hate talking. We're, we're gonna say something completely random next. Sea Weevil, Yorgy Schmorgy. <laughs> Just had to pull out the fucking SpongeBob reference. I guess you couldn't say that's completely random. That's more like a lol XD random. It's so random. Lamau. XD smile. Okay, crunch it. Uh, crunch it. Uses Confuse Ray. See, this is the crux. We don't want to see this. Excalibur hits itself. It uses flash cannon. Okay. This is where we completely switch up. Wait, what? Uh, that's right. It's because of the confusion. Let's switch back. The worst case scenario then would be that both of them yellow HP. Ugh. But I guess it's fine. Dark. I don't have a dark pulse. That's right. That's right, duh. I don't know, I just, I'm so used to switching on command. I don't even care what it is. I see something for a split second, I, I, I automatically make the command upon it. Could be low move power, it could be confusion. I don't care what it is, it's like a threat. So I just assume that it's like I took damage in some way. I'm like turning on my automatic defense systems. Pads. Okay, that's something that's interesting in Doctor Who lore and also in the Cosmo. Had is very useful, but also, I think the doctor usually has it like turned off or in like, you know, low power mode or silent mode or whatever, you know, like a notifications off mode because uh, most time Lords like use it and they just like disappear or they get locked out because the Had's turning their TARDIS into a cube, a tiny little cube. It's just funny, uh, if you don't pay attention, you turn on Hads in the Cosmos. You're gonna lose your TARDIS. You turn on Hads and you like punch your TARDIS. It's over, it's game over, man. The TARDIS is gone. You're gonna have to make a new one.
Why does this have a picture of Luigi? Like, scared Luigi in black and white on it. Scared Luigi. Why is he so scared? Is he in the basement in his mansion? Last Lena sends out the Dusk Zone. Watch out. There's the Dusk Zone. Okay. The Confuse Ray is just so immensely destructive. But also, if I could just hit with my Dark Tide move, it doesn't even matter. Ugh. That's half my HP right there. It's a good thing I can't switch out train these Pokemon. It still feels kind of a little too risky, though. Okay, Electro Ball doesn't do anything, thankfully. What's up with that? Super Mario Bros. 3 Bowser theme, but with Mega Man X2. I see, I see. I saw the, like, synthesized name. I'm like, uh, I don't understand. I don't know what this is. Mega Man Zero and Mega Man Zero Two. Okay. Sometimes I question why we do this. Either each game has like a new sound font, or... Oh, I see, I see. It's not just the first two games. Still, I sometimes question that. If it's like a cartridge on a per cartridge basis, then it makes sense. Because even if it's the same series, same hardware, we might use like slightly different instruments and like remake themes. Or like we'll just like, you know, copy the theme and then reuse instruments or make new instruments, whatever. Whatever method. So I'm assuming it's like different MIDI instruments or whatever. I always say VSTs. Gastro acid. I mean, it's the same thing, just apparently VST is kind of like a closed source format. My fire's quenched. I just try and like, think of a good general example if I can help it. Alright, heal up. Wow. Another fresh water. Bringing the maximum is actually good there. 44 HP. Doesn't look like it, but yeah, it has that big of an HP bar, I guess. Look at the meteor grow. Mega Man 3 and Mega Man 8. Omega Man. <laughs> Dude's name is Omega Man. Cool, man. And if you love Mega Man that much, then so be it. Become Omega Man, then. Omega Lol! He's Omega Man, dude! Alright, and it's gone. And it's gone. My fire is quenched once again. My water is quaffed once again. I don't understand the obsession with Friday Night Funkin'. Just see, like, different songs to Friday Night Funkin' all the time. What's the point? What is the purpose of the F and F? Why are we F and F and F and F and? What's the purpose of F and F? So where did this even start? Is Friday Night Funkin' a New Newgrounds Flash game? Is that where it started and we like remastered it? License under the Apache 2.0 license. No way. <laughs> Why? Okay. That's just funny as fuck to me. Apache 2.0. Okay. You can host this on your own unique server instance, okay? Under the Apache license. Friday Night Funkin'. This was published. November 1st, 2020. Uh, it is a Flash game. I wonder if it was remastered or if it was literally just authored on Newgrounds. And we still got like Flash content creators out there because that would be awesome if that's true. 
I know, I know people are still making Flash, but I wonder... Probably just gotta be supporting the old engines, right? I don't know. Good old Flash 8 loves the crash. But it's the same thing with, like, Flash CS4 as well. It's like, pick your poison. You want the thing that runs at low RAM and crashes? You want the full software development suite that crashes? Okay, I take a lot of damage. Too bad I don't have a hard head to use here. Ahem. Get in there, Ryu. Get some additional XP. What the? That's a weird looking Lapras. He uses Flash Cannon, but I don't actually sustain like a lot of damage at all from that. Just Ice Beam it, whatever. Brian would do crazy damage as well, but I don't care. Wow, it's Cry. Geese theme. Is this like a fighting game? I just see Mega Man versus like... I guess this is Geese? Mega Man 7 sound fun. Oh, I see. Yeah. Holy shit. Geese? I don't know this character's name, but I've heard this song. This song always sounds like I'm going way too fast and like Road Rash. I need to kick all of the motorcyclists off the road. The game... Is it Road Rash that you do that, or am I just thinking of the Simpsons version of that? Okay, I look up Road Rash Kick, and I get, like, Healthline, treating Road Rash. I don't think Excalibur is gonna tank this one, champ. If we throw Ryu in again. Vehicular combat video game originally developed and published by Electronic Arts for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> Vehicular combat. Dude, Yu-Gi-Oh wasn't the first to do it. Card games on motorcycles? Nah, vehicular combat on motorcycles. Despite that, it's still a pretty good, like, racing game, if I remember correctly. It's not more like, uh... I guess you pass your opponents, but it's more like rally, right? I think you have to go the farthest. Or is it take out all the combatants? I don't even remember. Didn't we, like, have another game in this? Road Rash 2, like, where you actually race a little bit? Okay. All the freshwaters are helping immensely. Because my move power goes down, but also I can just heal up after more battles. Mega Man the Sequel Wars. This looks like Mega Man in like a Mario level. Maybe I gotta check out Mega Man. With the OG games, because people are raving about it all the time. Mega Man Rising Revengeance. Excuse me, this has four views. No, no. What? Rising Revengeance? Mega Man Rising Revengeance. Incredible. Last Lena is taking us places. Our Pokemon will become immensely more powerful thanks to the power of Last Lena. Take me further, Last Lena. Last Lena it sounds like you're saying Rosalina, but Lazalina. Uh, that just sounds like a really weird, fake, proper name. You know, like, we took the same speech cadence as Elizabeth, and it's uh, like, Rosalina. Lazalina. Huh. No move left. Well, I rock slide and it's gone. What is Mega Man Rising Revengeance? We just made like the whole soundtrack, but with Mega Man sound font? This is a head, it has vocals. Does this game even have vocals in its tracks? Oh shit. Yeah, get ready. The memes track. <laughs> God damn, this going hard. What the fuck? Yeah. Memes track. 
Pokemon Rising Revengeance. It's just a picture of Mega Man slashing like the giant Metal Gear in half, or like the giant flying tank, or whatever it is. Whatever that happens in the cutscene, I don't know. When Revengeance first, uh, we, we first started doing like pre-roll ads and like, you know, we did gameplay footage and whatever before the game was out. I was already kind of like, this looks cool, but also fucking crazy, like stupid and hilarious. And what was it, like fucking three, five, or like seven years later? Probably just an inordinate amount of time, so probably like five years, right? The game comes out, and it, like I'm watching gameplay, and I'm like, it looks good, but I'm like, looking at my watch on both wrists, I got... Four watches, actually. Uh, I'm just going, huh. Rising Gear Revengeance Solid is kind of a flop. And then it explodes again a decade later. And, you know, it makes perfect sense, actually. The game's perfect. The game's perfect as it is. Uh, I might own the master now. Okay. I don't understand the context. I, I've seen, I think, the whole game, but I don't remember all of it. I think the most of the stuff I remember is pretty much the early game shit anyway. Yeah, I seem to remember watching my friend play this, like, back in the Windows 8 era. Windows 8.1. Ah, shit, my laptop, I updated it to Windows 8.1 and it doesn't work now. Sorry, man. I don't know what to tell you. You shouldn't have updated to Windows 8.1. <laughs> every time, every time. Get some every time. Sounds like I'm pulling a scam whenever I say it like that. Get some every time. The Windows 8.1 gets them every time. They give me a thousand dollars and the Windows 8.1 gets them every time. This should do the damage then, yes? I love that they go to the Dark Pulse anyway. Yeah. It's pretty good. Risk it for the biscuit move, but also that was pretty good. Last Alina with Dusk is zone. Sometimes Pokemon cries. I almost feel like they're talking. It almost sounds like uh, we just bit crushed whatever word we wanted in whatever language, and then sort of transformed the audio so it sounds like something completely different. Caliber's like, good day, but it's just so warped. Good day. I don't know. There's no way I can completely, perfectly replicate how it sounds. Glad I took Dragon Claw, because I think at this stage I'd be doing like three or four Dragon Rages. That's just too much. Right, let's do one more battle this way, and then I'll go back to the Pokemon Center. I feel like I'm just risking it too hard with such low move power, such low HP. Let's do this. I don't want to do it dirty to this content creator. Mega Man in first person with his fist he cups up. His blaster is one of his fists. Right, he casts a curse and then immediately fall. Uh, it falls in the garbage can. There's a trash can right there and it fell into it. Okay. Let's go, last Lena. Thankfully, Crunch still has some moves left. I wish so much that it would just spam curse every time. Alright, risky Crunch, but I win. That's level 46 then, yes? Yep, there we go. Almost three level 50s. I think at this point, even though Excalibur has enough move power to keep going for just like one more battle, even a few more if we use like their side moves against this. Uh, I think I still just want to go back to the Pokemon Center. It's way less risky this way. All right, we're good. I can go fight Team Rocket later. This is essential. See how he runs down the stairs? Perfect spinal alignment. 
I don't think you want to be running down the stairs anyway, so like the fact that we question the alignment of the spine while you're running up or down the stairs, I really, I, I don't know. Actually, I guess. You can't exercise that way, but I... It seems unconventional to full-on sprint down a staircase. That's my exercise. I love, I love nearly falling and busting my whole body up. I just can't imagine any other scenario. I try and think of like one limb of the body. I'm like, no, you're gonna watch out. Uh, you better fall into the grass or something. Falling downstairs ain't no joke. I've done it. Sir, was it my birthday? I don't think, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just around that time of the year. Maybe it just like seemed like the same celebration. We had so many weird parties in that house. Anyway, we're all drunk. We go outside. I'm the last person. I fucking splayed on the stairs. I tumbled. I looked like I was spinning, probably. I was a raffle copter in the stairwell. It didn't help that the stairs had, like, an unbearable height, too. Made sure I appreciate the workout of having to step up higher. That's fine. But falling down that definitely doesn't help. The increased step height of every stair. Definitely, yeah, like it's just gonna be the whole climb is completely different. I think like even just the height of the house doesn't really factor in. Because you have more stairs to buffer your fall in a like a lowered staircase, I would believe. Uh oh. No, uh See I'm not a stair expert. <laughs> I'm not sure how many stairs you got. The only thing I know for real. This sounds vaguely like Doom music. Tell me, let me know it's real. Let me know the Rising Revengeance music is real. can't unsee his very silly buck teeth that aren't buck teeth, they're like side buck teeth. Buck fangs. He's got buck fangs. Oh my god. Excalibur? No! No, he's good. I just wanted to do that. It looked like maybe he would have hit himself and had like a low HP for a second. I'm kind of curious what my other moves are going to do here though. I really just go in the safety route and only using dark because that seems to be doing the thing here. Mega Man with his sword. Mega Man X with his sword. Versus something. I can't tell what it is. We changed the image for every track so that's pretty cool. Dragon Claw, maybe? Okay. That's two hit or quitter right there. Yeah, double stack Dragon Claw and it's gone. That's pretty nice. I think I'll just go ahead and get Excalibur to level 50. Now this kind of scary. I should probably use the dark type move Crunch this time. Excalibur, use the dark type move Crunch. It's like the first episode that we see uh, this Pokemon, or it's like the first episode of this arc. Use the dark type move. I guess I can just switch out. Hey, thanks for giving magic XP. If it's poison, it's just gonna faint in a turn. You meet Spider Suicune in real life. What are you doing? Okay, I guess it didn't die in a turn, but I could just, like, Aurora Beam. Use the most powerful ice move known to man, except for, uh... You know, whatever it's called. Sheer Cold. Collective Consciousness. The last song I need to go back to after this, because that's just... I know exactly what that's from. The meme moments. The meme track. The meme track. Alright, Crunch. 
Prototize him, Captain. The idea to just last hit with this. The Metal Gear Solid side effect there is just great. I think Psychic is gonna help here. Psychic. That's right, when I was a kid, I used to pronounce it like Torchic. I would say Psychic. Belch. You must eat a berry to use it. Sorry, can't do it. Burp up a berry. You mean vomit? The game can't say vomit. Sorry, this is rated PG. We can't be saying vomit. An e for everyone. And everyone doesn't want vomit. Not anymore. The vomit economy has ended. We're tanking the numbers on vomit. So just double dragon claw. Every time this thing levels up, it does more physical damage with the Dragon Claw anyway, so... The silly, smiling, buck fang ghost goes. It goes, it goes. Be a turtle grind once again, commence. The only thing I know for real... Soul can't be cut. Alright, go ahead, Dragon Claw. Big meaty claws. Big meaty claws. Right, I sustain a lot of damage there, but I also get halfway to level 49. The training is immensely powerful here. I think I can go full autopilot now. The only Pokemon I truly must worry about in this dual Pokemon grind right now is what it is. Not Excalibur, but the other one. Excalibur seems perfectly fine here. Okay, maybe not with ex uh, Confuse Ray. Yeah, and Flash Cannon stacking. Meteor, I think, will be fine as long as the same thing doesn't happen, like Confuse Ray. Check this out. Soul can't be cut. Ryu, use Dragon Claw. Now I know Dragon type moves go good against this trainer. I could honestly go all level 50s here, I think. I'm curious what my egg is going to be, though, first, and, like, Eevee and whatnot. Just go ahead and do the same thing. Might as well give Rio a little bit more XP. Oh, yeah. Let's see, Brian? Let's see if Brian will stack again like this. Oh, yeah. Brian's great. It doesn't do the electric damage. It should. Because my typing is just so fucky wucky. The game doesn't understand how it works. I think I'll go ahead and just dual train cross train here. Okay, brine that early is a mistake. But also dual brine. Oh my god. <gasps> it's HP so gone, dude. The curse. Oh. That was lucky that the curse didn't take me there. Good job, Ryu. That was just fucking immense. I think now is the time to just wing attack. Not very effective, yeah, but it does one damage, and that's what's effective. That is what is effective. Right there. I right, go on in. One thing I don't like about MGS4 and Revengeance is that you just have, like, small, but also giant. They're like miniature Metal Gears. They make cow noises, and they bleed blood, and they walk around on, like, horrifying robotic muscle limbs. <laughs> it's just like, this thing's awful. I one-shot. Level 49 flamethrower. That's incredible. Didn't I have a fire-type move on this Pokemon at one point? I think with that, the lair is probably phased out. If I need it again, I'll go back and grab it. But this Pokemon's gonna evolve anyway. I think its power is gonna outshine whatever Glare was gonna do, which is really just catching Pokemon, pretty much. Four very good moves. That's a feels good man. Unfortunately, I guess I just didn't see the value in Crunch. It does a lot of good damage, but it also, like, goes special defense, I think. Or defense, I mean. It goes hard in defense. 
dude. The curse. Alright, there's level 50. Just like that. Just on the cusp. Sometimes crunch just pops off. Either it, like just special, uh, it either it's a critical hit or it just gets a high roll. Yo, it eats a berry and curses. It's gone. Level 50 unlocked. Last Lena defeated. What Excalibur's evolving? Becomes a dragon cobra. This looks very silly. Oh my god. It's kind of cool. Salabach. Alright. Wants to learn fly. I'm good. That's very useful, friend, but I don't need it. I have teleport anyway. I don't think you need that. Excalibur. 161 HP. Salabach. Uh, instead of serious, it's now a quirky and it takes a lot of siestas. Its stats are wildly all over the place, kind of. But at the same time, I think it's attempting to tell me the true answer, which is to reverse its fusion. It had to stay in silly snake form this whole time for it to become even more powerful. And now it powers up again even more. Yeah? Oh. Yeah, it goes Salamence mode. What is this? Ooh, that is awesome, buddy. Armence. That is an actual dragon cobra. Its neck is massive. It's really meant to scare the fuck out of you. If you already know what a dragon is, then, like, I don't know. <laughs> Do you approach this thing as a scientist? You're like, oh, buddy, I know that you're a cobra as well. You're friendly, right? And it just hisses and, like, shoots venom fire at you. No, never mind. Uh, you're, you're awful. <laughs> Alright, this is probably going to level up, right? It leveled down, actually. Really? But the stats? Okay, but didn't the stats just go through the fucking roof? It looks so much cooler. It looks so much cooler. See, that's the cool thing about this, too. If one version of it looks better, but it's weaker... Then if you need the Pokemon to, at the last second, become... Uh, if you're at level 96 and make it level 100, there you go, just swap. Look at this thing. There's no way I'm switching this to the other version. It's already massively crazy looking. It had to rank down just to show me how much more powerful it is at a lower level than the other version. Just one crunch at level 50 probably would have done the same damage. But now it's poison, oh my god, lol. I light it on fire. Wait, is, is, maybe it's part steel type. I will go to level 50 again, I don't care. You headed to Saffron City? Yes, let's do this. You headed to Saffron City? Yes, let's do it. Just like, you keep Saffron City. She keeps asking me the same question, so I keep giving her the same answer. Yes, I will go to Saffron. Flamethrower does okay damage. Now, Flash Cannon does nothing. That's amazing. There's no move power left. Dragon Claw should smack. Yeah. Now, remember, Streamer, Electro Ball is Math Ball. That sucks. I, I Flamethrower. Goodbye. That was, again, very risky. If I had missed, that would have sucked eggs. I keep wanting to say suck ass, but like, no, suck eggs is funnier. Alright, heal him up twice. Let's go back into that battle level 50 again. I think three level 50s is fair and good, cool enough. Cool and good enough. I don't want to like try and expedite so hard of like, you know, oh, I want to go to the boardwalk and fight those trainers. But yeah, I don't need to. It's more like, that's kind of the future goal right now. That seems to be a good area to chill. And I haven't rematched those trainers yet, so I might run into a trainer that has, like, potentially a level 55 Pokemon after I'm done leveling their Pokemon up. At that point, I'm at level 75. I'm like, well, I haven't fought Koga yet, I haven't fought Erika yet, uh, help, I'm back with another powerful Pokemon. Help me, help. 
Will Zen Headbutt do crazy damage? Oh! Okay, that was a crit. Okay. I was convinced that this whole time I should have been using Zen Headbutt. I mean, it's pretty strong. Doesn't Zen Headbutt also flinch? Hmm. Go ahead, heal up after that. We could afford to expend the fresh waters. I just need this Pokemon to catch up to where it was. Then I can uh, just completely ignore that the other version existed. See, what happened before was that I made a like vastly superior aesthetic fusion, but I couldn't catch up to the level that I had, and it fainted. Maybe if I had been the same level and then like I had attempted to train other things, or maybe got that thing up to a higher level. But I just caught it up and then like fucked off, pretty much. Ow. Ow. Yeah, it's a good thing I wasn't risking it here, pretty much. Ouch. Electro Ball does more damage what now? Like, the higher your speed stat is? Just need to lower my opponent's speed for Electro Ball? I guess that doesn't really matter, though. It's more like the cannon move, right? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is that affects my Pokemans. He curses. Get fucked. Ryu has a lot of HP. I guess I could make a double dragon Pokemon. It'd probably be way too powerful for like level wise. It'd be something to catch up to as well. Excalibur. Looks so fucking powerful. Yeah, this just gives Meteor a chance to cross train Ryu, I suppose. Ryu needs a little bit of level anyway. What the? The curse is just so silly. And Brian just stacks off of that, but it has way less HP. My fire is quenched. I'm just gonna turn around. I'm just gonna turn around. Yeah, I think that's part of the strength, too. Uh, in f uh, reversing and lowering level, you have to train more, but then when you re-reverse, you regain, like, all that power. So it's kind of, like, uh, prestiging. I'm actually going back in level to get more EVs, kind of. I don't know if it works that way. I guess. Hmm. I don't think reversing lowers your level normally. I think only unsplicing does. Probably don't gotta worry about that. Though. It has one HP. It has a focus sash? You're kidding me, man. What? Yeah, I just had a feeling I'd hit myself with the flamethrower there. It has a focus sash. <laughs> there you go. There's just the randomizer clocking in again with random items. I just assumed it was, like, the ability to hang on with one HP, or maybe, you know, just some... something like that, right? I didn't expect a random item, though, that does that. And not even all the time, though. This Focus Sash doesn't even proc all the time. Of course, the game's cheating, though. It has to use whatever it can. Okay, that's a one-shot. That's fucking awesome. I would think that it has to roll against it that hard, that it says the Focus Sash effect exists anyway. So if it doesn't, then you just wouldn't see an item. I'm just assuming it probably wouldn't show up anyway. I don't know. It's hard to think about the math like that. Yes, you could say the item doesn't even exist, even if the Pokemon's holding it, but the effect doesn't proc, so you can't see the item. But you could also say, uh, nope. Reverse the instructions that were just executed. Inspect what happened. And look at the Pokemon you just defeated in the engine. Oh, yep. It does have it. There you go. It's like, there, there are messages. There are messages. So look at this. Chill Penguin Mega Man X in Sega Genesis. Yo, this got a fire! Fire, 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 fire! 
It's dusk zone time. It's dusk zone time. Dusk zone is ready. And then faints. My fire is quenched. Fire, 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 fire. My fire is quenched. Kill Penguin looks very silly. Almost looks like a Dragon Ball Z android. But like a really poorly designed one. Hey guys, look, we made more androids. This guy's a penguin man. He looks like he's going Super Saiyan, alright. <laughs> like, it's super insane. That feels good. Just one-shotting the very high EXP Pokemon over and over. That's great. I think the only thing that could make this better is Metronome. But uh, that's not really going to affect it since I do almost all of its HP in one hit if it does survive. So really it's like the Rocky Helmet. Um, I don't know, something like Quick Claw to always go first, but I always am going first. Black Glasses, I guess, to always up Dark type moves. Probably. Do I... You know what, I probably have a pair of black glasses that I just haven't equipped. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just one shot this thing back to back. It's gone. Level 36 Dust Noir plus Magnezone. Perfect training for this session. Amazing. It will fall. The Dusk Zone will fall. It's a shame all the crunches go so quick now. One per Pokemon. 2,000 XP per crunch. You know, at that XP gain, a million ain't that far away. Usually Dragon-type Pokemon have like the 1.57 million XP bracket. Is that what it is? Or is that Legendaries? Uh, whatever it is. I'm sure Salamence probably has the 1.57 mil or like 2.14 mil or whatever it is. So, I mean, 2,000 really ain't much. But, uh, two, like, 2 million really ain't much either if you're dividing it by 2,000. So, it's just up in the air at that point. How many dust zones do you want to take out? It curses, but then I'm just, I win. I win. I don't even need to go back to the Pokemon Center. I'm going to get level 50 again right here. Once again, this Pokemon becomes even more powerful. It was already powerful at level 50, but it becomes 50 again. Level 50 again. It actually has slightly less HP. It was 160 HP when it was level 50 as the previous fusion. I think I'm probably optimizing like attack and speed or something. I think it was probably attack. I'm looking at it, attack is 138 at this level. So I'm really genuinely thinking that it specced into like special attack, attack, and speed. But I don't know, it's hard to tell because it's a totally different Pokemon now. As opposed to what we had before, it's easier to tell. Because everything was balanced. Alright, one more. Just Dragon Claw it up. And cast a course again. That's amazing. Once again, a, a very free level 50. Yeah, it's almost 150 HP. I was expected it to evolve there for some reason. Good job, Excalibur. But now if I ever do unfuse it, it's still just gonna retain really high levels, so that's good. Maybe like, uh, just fuse Arbok plus low Pony, and I get like a really scary Cobra Bunny Lady. I don't know, I can I can definitely see Double Dragon becoming a thing, but I don't know. Let's switch Meteor back in. We need that three level 50s. Tag back in. Let's go, get in there, Meteor. Just to finish the fight, man. Get back in there, soldier. Dark Pulse. I need to look, actually. Dark Pulse, I wish it would one-shot on Meteor, but it seems like it ain't gonna work. 
The thing to look for then is if I can up its attack. Wait, is Dark Pulse is a special attack? That's right. This thing is just primarily susceptible to like physical dark. I see. That's right, that's right. Well, if I could get Night Slash, that'd be amazing. We saw how quick things went with Night Slash. Yeah, I think that'd be fantastic. SNES, Undertale, Mega Man. <laughs> okay. Just Brian. He's got enough HP damage, Brian will just carry the rest, I think. Damn, Mega Man, you're going off with the music. Damn, Mega Man, back at it again with the music. We have lasers for the music at- oh my god, wait, what? Mega Man's running through the laser zone to the music, that's amazing! I think I pop off one Dark Pulse and I'm good. That's probably all I can do here, yep. And flinch! Let's go! I wish that was level 47, it's so close. Yep, just barely not- not there. You sort of tell whenever you, uh... It's almost like piloting the Pokémon. You can just look at the HP or EXP bar enough, and you just look at the stat or the number, whatever it is. You can just sort of tell where it's gonna go. I mean, I guess I know the general number of the XP I'm gonna get, too, but... You can still sort of predict it, too, if you... Toss it up with a number that's plus minus. Dude, Rock Slide does the damage. That's awesome. I think it takes the electric type, but it doesn't take the steel type, so... That's probably why electric damage does so much... I don't know, maybe not crunch. Yeah. So there you go. It flinches, but crunch does the physical damage that I need on Meteor. And a Meteor would crunch whatever it hits. Whatever it bites, if you will. I remember seeing the laser zone in Mega Man, but I, this is cool. This Undertale music fits really well, too. Maybe this... This feels familiar, actually. I wonder, maybe this is the inspiration, because I think... This might be the Undertale, like, laser zone, too. Crunch one shots, let's fucking go. That's the best upgrade I could get from Meteor. The previous Dark-type move was good, but I need all physical damage with this Pokémon. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. I didn't think Meteor would be this immensely easy to grind. Now that I've given it this move, it is just utterly, absolutely chunking this Pokémon up now. Like, if you want something crunchy to eat, you know, you grab a... <laughs> Even though it's not very healthy, like a granola mix with like a bunch of dried fruits and like candy and like chocolate and nuts or whatever. Yeah, that's crunchy as hell. He's crunching that up. He's eating the whole bag. Like 64 ounces. To get from level 40 to 50, he needs like 30 pounds of food in his body. My man's eating fucking 64 pounds. I said 64 ounces. He's eating 64 pounds now. He's gonna eat... <laughs> I, I don't know how the conversion works, actually. I'm really stupid with stuff like that. Ounces to pounds? Eh. What is it? Is it 16 ounces in a pound? There's a song with this in it, too. Yeah, 16 ounces in a pound. So I, I don't even know what that would be. <laughs> just multiply it by four, then, not by ten. Or what? I, I fucking, I don't know. I, <laughs> the original math doesn't even make sense. Crunch it up. Crunch it, guys. Okay. Sometimes I crave cereal, but I'm also like, I'm not gonna eat it. If I eat it, it's just gonna be ice cream for me. It's the same thing as ice cream, but it's crunchy. A lot of milk and it's very sugary. <laughs> yeah, you could have ice cream crunchy too, so I don't know. 
There's some, oh my god. I don't know if I like that. Ice cream with peanut butter in it is good, I think. But ice cream with chunky peanut butter. I'm saying, like, you toss it up. You make some ice cream for yourself. But you also decide you want to take some peanut butter from the jar. And you want to put it in the ice cream. Whatever way you make it. I usually, like... I, I, I carve the ice cream up with the peanut butter. But if I can, I'll try and melt it. But it usually doesn't turn out right. So other, I'll, I'll try and heat up the spoon. That usually helps. But I'll usually combo it. I'll attack the ice cream with the peanut butter and combine it that way. I'm saying though, you, <laughs> you get the chunky and you put that in the ice cream. I don't really like it. Melted or not, even if it's combined perfectly. I'm saying though, melted's probably like the problem here. I don't know. Chunky peanut butter in the ice cream. I, it's good, but it just feels kind of like it clashes. Maybe I'm only eating microwave melted chunky peanut butter in my ice cream, and that's probably the problem, right? Okay, what is this? Kingdom Hearts Scythe of Petals. Mega Man Star Force sound fun. This looks cool as fuck. Your fire's quenched and I'm almost level 50 on you. I'm leveling up. You'll see. The greater level of truth. A higher level of change. This does sound like Kingdom Hearts music. I think Kingdom Hearts almost sounds like... I don't know, maybe it's just the recurring drums. It just sounds like battle music for sure. User takes the phone to the sky, then drops it on the next turn. The foe cannot attack while airborne. This actually seems kind of useful. But it still probably works like Dig, where... Like, regardless, once they're finally on the ground, they get to attack. So if you probably pick them up before they attack, they'll attack. Even if they can't attack you in midair, whenever they land, they'll get a free turn to attack. And then it's your turn and they get to attack again. Like, it's fair, but it also, it's kind of cheap on their side where they get to attack you. Attack a jack. Crab core. Crab core. Jack a jack. Alright, one more level off of her. Let's go. That was pretty cool. I love when I accidentally click the chat window and it stretches. I'm just trying to move the mouse cursor. Mega Man 3 Crash Bandicoot. This has got to sound good. I'm assuming wing attacks just get a one shot at this point. If Crunch is doing it, wing attacks probably gonna do it, yeah? Maybe Tyranitar plus Salamence. It seems like it'd be immensely powerful and much more useful. Aerodactyl is nice, but I feel like it's more of a mid Pokemon. It's just legit a mid tier Pokemon. I popped its balloon. Come out, dude! This does sound like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Mega Mandicoot. Crash Mandicoot. Crash Mega Mandicoot. How many times have we fought Dust Zone? How many more times will I fight you, fool? This is a good sign, actually. I know it sort of feels like it doesn't bode well, but if I find a trainer this early on, and I'm aware that also I have to wait until later to fight more trainers, it tells me that like the next few trainers I'll get that I can rematch will actually be probably at least somewhat worth it. Which means the real goal of like going to the boardwalk past Snorlax. Like all the places you ride your bike and whatnot near Fuchsia. I'm just gonna get trainers that want rematches and they'll be high level. I think this grinding is actually probably the perfect time for it. Get 30 levels. Get 10 extra levels on 3 Pokemon and then I'll get another 2 level 50s. I don't think... 
Because they can't use dark type moves, I don't think they're ready immediately. I think it's probably just the perfect time to go like check out what the EV is going to be, all that stuff. You know, my egg is going to be something unique. It might be something nice. I, uh, I maybe. I somewhat doubt it. Pizza Tower Pizza Head boss fight, but it's the Mega Man sound fight. All right, there it is, level 50. Pizza face. Nice. Last Lena, my fire is quenched. So what do we have left? Le 165 HP, look at them stats. Everything's good except for defense, at least for hundreds. We got Magic and Ryu. Ryu, I believe, is on the same track. Yep, pretty close to level 42. Same track as before with Excalibur. It was at 41, and then it was about to be 42. It got to 42. I was like, hold up. Help, help, this Pokemon can drain. Help. What's the egg looking like? It will hatch soon, actually. Okay. Let's go. Go heal up and go check out our Eevee friend. I might want to go to the box anyway after that. Go we'll take Eevee to the PC box. I'll probably take the egg to the PC box. This is going to be level 1. And I guess at some point I could turn around and go investigate what's going on at the daycare. See if I've got like level 30s waiting for me or something. I'm not too worried about it right now though. Speed up, let my Pokemon hatch. I think if I try and get EV too early, I'm gonna be like, I don't wanna juggle all these Pokemon in the PC. Stop. Help. This is the final boss fight. I don't think I wanna spoil myself that hard. FNF Roses and Thorns, but Mega Man X. <laughs> Much better. Back to the 80s montage grind music. I love that Erica takes care of her flowers. Just wish that she would have like, you know, 10 berry trees outside so I could get unlimited free items every six hours or whatever. I'm gonna need to go grab another Pokemon, huh? There it is. What's this gonna be? What's our next egg gonna hatch into? Surely some powerful Pokemon. Nidoji. It's literally like one of the worst yet strongest generation one Pokemon you could ever encounter. That's awesome. Nido King plus Pidgey. So the crux of this is that it needs a Moonstone. Okay. I like that though. Generate Flying Penguin, Super Robo Yaru. Dark Hall Dragon Seeker. We had Seeker, Alpha the Magnet Warrior, and the A-Forces. Force? Can we have a Pokemon named Force? Caliptera. Translates to Hellhorn Saurus, I guess, huh? Hell. Hell. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Buster Knuckle Magic Jammer. Buster. Axe Raider Vow of Tribe. Curse Breaker. Fang of Critias. Breaker Critias? Uh, Fang. <laughs> Critia. Paladin of White Dragon. Time Machine. Let's just do Paladin. Whoa, okay. It's just on, it's in. Paladoin. Time Machine. I get the Time Machine card. That's pretty cool. I'd actually love to go check out what we got in the daycare and I go put this in there to let it like evolve. I don't know. I'm gonna hold off on that. I got three level 50s. I gotta get five level 50s. At some point, I'll have, you know, just all of the five Pokemon will be the highest level possible. So I think training five right now is the meta, but it's not a problem. It's just more like I'd like a sixth, and I don't really see them anywhere. 
I have yet to catch them, Twilight. Where is this Pokemon? There it is. Sword. They already have Sage. Buster. Sage is a flying plant owl. I don't know what to tell you. The Yu-Gi-Oh cards only give you so much. Not this way. This way. Need to go check out what's over here. Hello, Snorlax. Sword uses cut. Super effective. Okay, uh... Toho, I guess. I thought this was like Delta Rune, but okay. Metal powder. Uh, let's see. This looks like a good time of day. Kioth. I get Meow Ogre. Uh, I'm kind of scared to see what a giant whale Persian looks like, but okay. It's level 21. Pretty impressive. I did get rid of Glare, so I think I throw out this. Almost sounds like... Suicune is saying tornado or something, and it's really rolling its R. Tornado. Watch out for the tornado. Bite will one-shot. If a level 50 is one-shotting a level 36, with the equivalent of higher level bite, the 40 will one-shot a level 21 with weak bite. You know, normal bite. You can just throw pokeballs. It's fine. It's too bad I couldn't use one of those moon balls on the other thing that I just hatched. Hey, uh, Nidoran slash Pidgey, will you get in this Pokeball? No? Okay. Like, every egg comes with a default Pokeball. Scratch Basin Pokemon. Kyoth has appeared in mythology as the creator of the sea. For some reason, this Pokemon loves shiny coins that glitter with light. Kyoth. Yeah? Hinotama uh, and Trachodon. Air Knight Parshoth hand control. Hand. Dark Hole Time Machine again. Amazon Fighter. Did I say if I get Amazon? <laughs> Brain control. I don't think I have Amazon. Like an Amazonian Persian tiger. Guess we could go get fly. There's almost no point to having it though. Hold those. I guess it's up to if you want a move that will take you places as opposed to just having teleport, which is completely functionally useless. Except in battle, I guess. Follow my secret retreat, here's HMO2 fly. Thanks for barging into my house. You should give me more loot. Give me more items. You found a mana bear. Yes. It's Isley. I'm going to be upset if I have two Amazon Pokemon. Yo. Gillette. The best amount of that. Gillette. Gillette. That almost sounds like you're mispronouncing Gillette. Gillette. Yeah, just kind of like roll over your tongue and say Gillette. Gillette. My name's not Shelly, it's Gillette. Uh, okay. Shelletti. Mega Man's title theme with lyrics. MF Doom's Coffin Nails and Mega Man X Sound Fun. Let's fucking go. May he rest in peace. But live on in the music. We're doing like a red circle and a red arrow pointing at MF Doom here. Alright, heal him up. Go ahead and stick this Pokemon in the box. It may be a Meowth Kyogre, but I may not use it immediately either. I don't need Sword immediately, but I'm gonna look at the Meowth Kyogre. Box is filling up a little bit. You a box half full or a box half empty kind of person? You box, uh... Amazon. 
I don't have anything named Amazon. I think I'm just remembering using it for an example name. Huh. Interdimensional. Cute. Modest, takes plenty of siestas. It has drizzle. Which I guess will up the power of its moves. I don't know. A Meowth Kyogre, though, is just plain default okay. It's not like the best or the worst. Alright, let's make a move on Moseon over here. Is it Pokemon House we go into? Hey, that weird guy downstairs, he's like a programmer and he knows my, like, Windows variable. My Windows environment variable. God. Weird developer. Hey, don't touch that. That's my Eevee Pokemon. Hey, will you take it for, like, a ride, though? Take it for a spin. Hey, do you think Eevee wants some mac and cheese? I just like take him to like Panera Bread or whatever. Noodles and Company. I take him to Noodles and Company. You think Eevee wants some macaroni and cheese? The owner just looks at me somberly as I run out. I'm gonna go feed your like weird dog some macaroni and cheese. You're not supposed to give animals cheese, are you? No, it's fine. It's just, like, not a lot of it, right? And it's only for pets. Think, like, you can't just walk up to a horse at the zoo and give it cheese. You gotta, like, ask what you're supposed to give it at the zoo. Right? Can dog has cheese? Can dogs eat cheese? Yes. In fact, it's a great training tool for the dog. However, some dogs are lactose intolerant. Even if they're, they aren't, it's still good to keep some cheese on hand. What about cat? Can, can cat has cheese? Uh, I think cats can have it. Too much of it can cause gastrointestinal problems. Small piece of cheese, maybe. Good for like a pill sized amount of something. This, they're saying it's good for hiding a pill, so maybe like just a small ball of cheese. Most cats can't digest dairy products, which means eating milk, cream, or cheese could quickly lead to digestive issues such as diarrhea, constipation, or vomiting. Yeah, so it's the female, female, the feline digestive system. <laughs> Women or cats? No. Uh, hey, more MF Doom sound fun. Feline digestive system just can't handle that much lactose, huh? Oh, you're back. How did Evie enjoy its walk? Oh, it seems to really enjoy you a lot. Take it with you, man. Obtained Horn Air. Ho Horn Air. trying to piece that together. I can't really even imagine what that is. Okay, let's go. We keep getting dragon Pokemon. This is the double double dragon. This is Seedra, potentially, plus Dratini. Okay. Yo, another dragon. Celtic Guardian Great White. Guardian or Great? Exile of the Wicked. Musician King. Exile of the Wicked. Uh. Bolt Penguin. Flying Kamakiri. Command Silencer. Infestation. Bulganian Dragon Piper. Dust Tornado Call of the Haunted. Obedience. Mystic Tomato. Dungeon Ward Dragon Seeker. Crawling Dragon Flying Fish. Amphibian Beast Sonic Mate. Magical Pigeon. Shining Abyss. Abyss. I don't have anything named Abyss, right? I, I got Shine, and I was thinking of Abyss, so now I have both versions of Shining Abyss. I remember getting this card when I was younger, I was like, this is so powerful. This looks evil as fuck, it's like a horrifying evil statue with magical powers. But it's a light type? It's a light monster. <laughs> it's a light fairy type, yes. Shining Abyss is like a fucking angel statue or something, I guess. It's a automaton 
from the light realm. I don't know if that's a fairy necessarily, unless it has like a real weird face. I feel like some of these fairies don't look like a fairy, they look like a maiden abyss. So very fitting, shining abyss. <laughs> abyss is level 18. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, it's Dragonair, I thought it was... For some reason, I, I was convinced it was Dratini. I love Dragonair, it's my favorite out of the three. Likes to run, it's naive, it has shed skin. Bite, swift, and quick attack. Refresh, unfortunately, isn't recover, but I like that. That's amazing. Uh, Dragonair might have to get fused into something else, then. I'm looking at the guard chomp over there. Let's go ahead and save, though. Just in case. Uh, I don't... I actually don't have many splicers, do I? DNA splicer. I have four. Okay, I'll check this out really quick. I don't. Uh, there's probably like uh, utter insane things I could do. Actually, one thing I'm thinking of is ho. -Oh, I think maybe this. Hmm. Ryu is already powerful. So maybe ho. -Oh? Uh, like the mechanized phoenix was good, but uh. Uh-oh, where are you, man? He's like the hard-headed duck. I put you in the wrong box, my man. Here's the fainted Pokemon. Huh? I have Kyogre. I'm so confused. What? You know what? Did I put it? I put it in the daycare. I see. It's uh, it's part of like hard-headed rock type Pokemon. That might actually be amazing. This might actually be my chance to go over there and deposit something else. Actually, so hold on. Where's my teleporter? You? No, no, no. I'm gonna take this and let's see what happens. This might be smooth brain or like giga huge. A bitch. A f fire dragon that is Routini plus Phoenix. Or uh, Dragon Air plus Phoenix. That already sounds powerful. Once it becomes Dragonite, like it might look goofy, but it's overpowered at that point. Otherwise, I mean, it could be. No advertisement! How dare you! An advertisement. Let's go back. What is this? My dude reading a comment and then making the song. Yo! This is good. I need to go get my cut Pokemon, or no, it, I, this has cut. Check this out real quick. I will just save here real quick. This is definitely worth investigating first. Okay. Go ahead and deposit. Go ahead and just put two of them in here, I don't even care. But, uh, I'll take back out what I want to put in here, I don't, I'm not worried about it right now. I'm just gonna take what I paid for the daycare anyway. Level 50 Excalibur. How much money? Ah, oh, it's you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Impact is grown by four levels? Power is grown by six, I guess. Jeez, that ain't nothing. That's nothing. We need to put the super weak Pokemon in there. These are okay. Power definitely needed the XP. It just has silly moves anyway. Or, I'm sorry. Not power. 
the power needed the XP too, but uh. Excuse me. Impact needed the XP. Put you back in here. You're powerful, you will evolve at one point. Now I will unfuse you, but I will save first. Now before I do that, Kyogre plus Hoho -Ho has high potential as well, so I'm not like gonna, I don't know. I take the level once before I do anything. Cause they have the strength embodied with it that they will rise with power. Where's the other one? Where's my other level one? Magnet Paul. Huh? Level three. Uh, I thought I had two egg Pokemon at level one. I guess I wrong, I wrong. That's right, never mind. The other egg Pokemon I leveled up myself. I was like, fuck it, let's just get this thing super high level. I got two nose Pokemon, maybe I just do the, the business with these, get like higher level distribution. Put these in. I, really, I, I don't even really care for them too much. I just hope that Paladin becomes the strongest, if anything. Okay. Let's actually just get on out of here, I think. I'd rather go back to Celadon immediately before even saving. Just take that. Let's get out of here. Talking about ice cream makes me want to finish the ice cream I have. Good thing I saved some. Right, get on out of here. Let's go. Celadon City, where they sell a ton to you in the city. Celadon. Sell a ton. Part of the vent is missing on that building. Alright, well I'm here. Uh, there's still more Pokemon to get. I guess like one from the game corner and one from uh, Team Rocket, I suppose. But I'm not worried about that right now. Let's do uh trip. Right, let's check this out. I am convinced that Ho-Oh plus Kyogre is probably the solution here, but I'll probably just end up looking at both, if anything. Ho-Oh plus Dragonair is probably the thing I want to train, though. Power... ...and Abyss. Yeah, like, throw the, uh, this thing into the Abyss. Throw this into the Abyss. Rainy Dose plus Horsey makes a unique Pokemon? Really? Hard-headed Horsey. Huh. Well, it might lurk at the bottom of the abyss. Yeah, it just kind of fits. Crainy C. That could be good. Powerful Seedra. Rock Seedra. Dragon Butt Pokemon. <laughs> Let's go. We made the literal actual Dark Souls meme reference. Lived in jungles a hundred million years ago, uses ink to escape. Mold Breaker. Swift Swim's good, but Mold Breaker. Special attack up. Combine. Headbutt. Because it can headbutt. Dragon Butt Pokemon. Jeez. Real Dark Souls meme reference. Don't want Focus Energy. Crits land. Yeah, no. Pursuit is good, that's better than Smoke Screen, I guess. I guess I could have taken, taken uh, Bubble Beam or whatever, but... Or Bubble Beam. I could have replaced one of the water moves. Drag it in. Alright. This is either Power or Abyss. Either one is crazy. You capitalize the O and Ho-Oh. Both of them are fucking crazy looking. This one probably is the one, though. Small Phoenix. Both sides of Dragon. I'm surprised this doesn't make a unique looking legendary Pokemon. Okay, yeah, that's fucking silly actually. Oh god. Ho Nair. Ho no. Ho no, that's Ho Nair. No thanks. I, I don't want it. I just get, I replace all the same thing. Ho Nair's awful. 
<laughs> maybe like Dragonite plus Ho-Oh, but I'll wait until later maybe. Yeah. I'd like to see the reverse fusion maybe, but mm, Don't save. If anything, I could probably try that again. I'm sitting at the PC fusing anyway. Look at me, I'm fusing. Yeah, I guess. I guess, let's check it out. Come on! What was that? Okay. Unfuse it. Fuse it. No, actually, stop fusing, leave it alone. I don't really care about that Pokemon right now. Let's see the other version here. Hmm, I wonder what force you would make. As it shows the Dragonair sprite still integrated. This is still a ho-ho, but it has like Dragonair's face? How does this work? The calculator is fusing this in a weird way. Oh. Drago. Yeah, oh. I mean, it looks okay. Kinda looks like something else. I don't wanna know. I don't care. I don't wanna know. The game hated that. It, it freaked out for a second. That would save. Alright, let's go again. Uh, I think, really, it is worth checking out. Honestly, because this isn't panning out in the fusions. Like, not making an aesthetic fusion. I do want to see at least what Kyogre Ho-Oh is. But I think maybe I'll just leave this as default then. So, unfuse this. This sounds like some Sonic music or something. Oh. No, pick, put it back down. Pick me out back down up. Horsey plus Ho-Oh is what it looks like the game is suggesting here. Why don't you try fusing these? Yeah. Why don't you try and fuse those two together? Okay, fuse Ho-Oh. Plus Kyogre. It's gonna be a flying whale. Yeah? A mega little whales? Okay, it's a fucking phoenix. Or it's a weird alien. Uh, water flying, that seems kind of common, or fire water, and that's probably just powerful but looks weird. I want to see the weird looking one first. They're both cool. This has got more like circular vibes, so it's definitely the aqua Pokemon. Oh! It's a giant koi fish. It's a massive whale koi fish. Flying whale koi fish. Huh. Ho gray. I don't want to know. Don't tell me the lore of this thing. I don't have enough splicers and I can't reverse it. I don't have any. I, mean, I, I guess I can run to the market, but it's faster to just reload. It's faster to just reload my save and come back that way. Alright, let's try this one more time. I don't think I'm going to keep this, but I do want to just see it, and maybe... Maybe I don't keep it now, but I'll want it later. Like, oh. Ho oh plus Kyogre actually would be useful for grinding here. You know, that's something I haven't really considered. Uh, certain trainers are weak to certain types, so it's useful to just bring a back-end Pokemon that's even just in the box and make it fight. And get to level 50, for example, and then just put it back in the box. That's way better than a daycare. Alright, what's this cool phoenix? Yo, what? That's sinister. Yo. Kyogre went to the Aqua Flame route. And is now harmonized. It's like Apocalypse Kyogre. Flying Water Dragon. Kyo has appeared in mythology as the creator of the sea. Lives at the foot of the rainbow. Sassy. Uh, yeah, I guess. More of a defensive type. It learned Ancient Power Water Pulse. It has cool moves, I guess. And it'll learn Fire type moves. It has a horsey as part of it. Aqua Tail. It's like way better. Water Pulse is nice because it confuses. Q 
Kyo looks awesome. This just looks like a Pokemon Nintendo would come up with. Its stats are okay. I can see doubling this and getting some hundreds out of it, but I don't know. It's also just two legendaries combined, so I'll keep that in mind, but anyway, we're done here, I think. Yeah. So thank you very much for enjoying some Pokemon Infinite Fusion Randomizer Nuzlocke. That's gonna do it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, huh? Peace out.